Welcome back everybody, it has been such a long time since I have worked on this C programming series so I am glad to be back because I promised you guys I'd have these videos out and here I am to fulfill my promise. <laughs> so where do we leave off? Well we've so far I've covered a bunch of basic stuff and we've done some question and answers in the previous videos and now we're doing a little coding challenge and this challenge is relatively easy. Um, I mean if it takes you some time that's okay but if you're really really struggling to grasp the concepts with the programming here, then that is an indicator that you probably need to go back, make some flashcards, and make sure you uh, know what you're doing just a little bit more before you dive into some more complex stuff coming up in the next videos. So, what is this here? What is what is going on here? So this is a text editor. It's sort of like Vim, but I decided to try a different text editor so you guys can get some more experience with different text editors. So you, you're still welcome to use Vim if that's what you would prefer, but this here is Visual Studio Code. It allows you to open your your uh, code in a more conventional manner where you can click around and you don't have to worry about commands. So whatever you prefer, that is okay. I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> so <laughs> once you get Visual Studio Code downloaded and opened, uh, you can go into the help and you can type in terminal and you can get this integrated terminal. And what this is going to do is allow you to use the terminal inside of the application. So now you can just worry about doing everything in one location and it's a lot more organized. And I also figured out that this is a great way for me to advertise. <laughs> so if you're fresh to this series, uh, please be sure to subscribe because I'm trying to grow this channel and it would just be really appreciated. So here is the challenge. I want you to create a program that takes two doubles as inputs and uses those to, calcu to calculate the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So just so you can visualize this, if uh, it's been a while since you've done some math, <laughs> this is a right triangle because it has this box here, <laughs> 90 degree angle. And we are going to pass in the values of A and B, and I want it to output the value of C. You can do this with this formula here, the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, so in order to do that, you're going to need a square root function. And I'm not gonna tell you a whole lot about it, but you'll want to look up square root SQRT, you're going to want to figure out how to use it and how to include it in your coding projects. And I'll just give that as a little uh, hint uh, because I want you to try to figure it out yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to the answer and I'm going to walk you guys through it. So be sure to pause the video here and try to figure out how to get some progress on this application. So let's do this. All right, so here's the solution. And as you can see, I zoomed in a little bit more, but uh, I'm also gonna clear up the screen a little bit. So if you ever need to access your files, you can click this, this right here on the left hand. Now, uh, I'm gonna hide that because we don't really need it and the file is open. And I'm gonna keep the terminal open. So that's the first thing you're going to wanna do is you're going to wanna create a file, name it something, codingchallenge.c, and you're going to want to do the standard include standard io.h but you're also going to need to do this include math.h, and this is what's going to allow you to use that square root function. The next thing you're going to do is have your main function, and you're going to have two variables in there, a and b. So those are the shorter sides of the triangle, and we need to calculate the larger side. So the first thing we do is we put some output to tell the user what to do. With this app, we'll calculate the hypotenuse of a right triangle, and then it's going to say enter the first value. And it's going to read in these characters as LF format character, which is the double format character. So we are reading these in as doubles. So we're allowed to use decimals. The next thing we're going to do is get the second number using the same thing, scan F, and we're going to assign this one to B. So the first one was to A, this one's to B. The next thing we're going to do is calculate C. The way we're gonna do this is with this formula here. We're going to take the square root of A squared, plus b squared. And that's uh, simple to figure out using the formula from earlier. Let me get Chrome back up here. So if you wanted to make this just c, you would take the square roots of both sides and the square root and the squared would cancel. So you would have c equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. So the square root of a squared plus b squared. Simple as that. And then what it's going to do is it's going to print the hypotenuse using uh, the printf and we're passing in c as a, an argument. And then it's going to return zero, which means the program is over. So we can execute this just like any other way with the console. We just need to go to that uh, directory. So we, um, this one for me is in documents. 
Oh, okay. I guess I'm already there. So I traveled to users, Caleb documents slash C. So once you're there, you can just run this like GCC coding challenge dot C. And you can see it works. And inside of our files, you can see that it's actually going to create a dot out, which is the output name for our file. So everything works exactly the same inside of this code editor. So no worries about that. So to run this, as usual, dot forward slash a dot out. And it's going to ask for the values for the shorter sides. A very simple example that you can use to make sure that this is working right is you can use one side being the value of three, the other side the value of four, and the answer should be five. So if that's the answer you're getting, then you have done the math correctly. The, the reason why is because it's going to take three squared, which is nine, four squared, which is 16, add those together, which is 25, and take the square root, which is five. And here is an example so you can visually see that. One side being three, the other side being four. The length of this, the third side is going to be five. Now, obviously, this has taken us a while to get here. This is video 40 something, and we are just doing basic input and output. In a conventional college or something, this might be brought up a lot sooner where you have to create an application like this on the first week. But I believe we are in a much better stance than most because we've we've done a lot of the uh, the extra work to really understand what's going on behind the scenes and how to structure our code in a clean, proper manner. So if you were able to do this application fairly simply, then I would say that you are in the good stance to move on to the next videos where we are going to get into some more advanced concepts. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this content, I just ask that you would subscribe and please be sure to show your support by liking this video as that really helps my channel out. So thank you guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace.